Dear MEP Benifei, dear Mr. Water, esteemed guests, friends, I'm very pleased to be celebrating the 17th European Patients' Rights Day with you today. I would also like to sincerely thank the Active Citizenship Network, Brando, and the MEP's interest group for bringing us together. Let me frame this message to you by addressing two essential questions. Firstly, why put advanced therapy medicinal products, or ATMPs, under the spotlight on a day focused on respecting and boosting patients' rights? In answering this, we can put forward two good reasons. Firstly, ATMPs are set to revolutionize the treatment of cancer, genetic disorders, and other rare diseases. Through continuous scientific and technological progress in medicine, we now have cures we once could only dream about. For example, a single gene therapy injection removes the lifelong need for patients with hemophilia A to inject themselves regularly with clotting factors. In Europe, this gene therapy received a conditional marketing authorization last year. Another reason is that ATMPs give hope to patients where therapeutic options are currently lacking or non-existent. Take spinal muscle atrophy, for example. Patients with the most severe type 1 cannot sit unaided or live without ventilation. Four in five lose their life before the age of two. Now, a one-time infusion of a gene therapy medicine can improve survival rates in these patients and reduce the need for a permanent ventilator. Dear friends, the second question to be addressed is what is the European Commission doing to facilitate patient access to ATMPs? Firstly, thanks to our sound regulatory framework covering the entire ATMPs life cycle from product development to market authorization and post authorization, more than 20 ATMPs have reached our market, including six medicines for various types of cancer. But this is not enough. ATMPs must be able to reach our patients sooner. To do this, we offer certainty to ATMP developers through early scientific advice. Our classification procedure helps to clarify if a product is an ATMP through the so-called PRIME scheme. We are also ensuring accelerated assessments boost the development of medicines with major public health interest and bring these innovative medicines to patients more quickly. ATMP also benefit from flexibilities under the hospital exemption, which allows for the use of an ATMP in a hospital setting without a marketing authorization under certain circumstances for an individual patient. And finally, our HTA regulation introduces a single EU-level submission for joint clinical assessments to ease the assessment and market access of ATMPs. Dear friends, our priority is always to put patients' interests first. For the European Union, for the Commission, and myself personally, every day needs to be seen as a patient rights day. Thank you.